Hi friends, uh, welcome to SQL uh, video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about a 12C feature. One of feature is called temporal validity. Like if you are working in the reporting environment like data warehousing projects, so you will be knowing that uh, uh, start date and end date is in, like most of the reports uh, will be using for like ship date or order date or delivery date or so whatever the dates you are using that you will be using uh, between the particular dates. So those uh, will be calling as uh, temporal validity. Like uh, if you have, uh, if you are working some employee, some company, so that employee start date and end date, like high date and company last working date. So those uh, information, for example, if you are looking for, I need uh, employees who work between uh, current day, uh, so current working, uh, for example, if I take a particular date, so in between date, how many employees are working in this company? So those period we are looking for, you can use a separate function called or you can say classes they are providing uh, from Oracle side. Those classes that is period for period for is a class while defining your uh, table structure we need to use this and uh, while selecting data we have to use as of period. So this will be using while creating a table for whatever you have a date columns and while selecting a data will be using for as of period for so for means we are giving some date and uh, based on your start date or end date, particular date between that, so it will be fetching the data. Look at this example. So normally, uh, if you write any uh, select queries for fetching the data for particular employees uh, between this range, so we'll be using a start date is null or start date or less than this date, current date. Same thing for end date is null or end date or greater than this. So when you're looking for particular employees who are working in this company, uh, based on I need all the employees for today's between this all employees any start date or end date so that time we'll be using this query so instead of that you can use a below query here you can see as our period and we'll be using that period name and this data so first while creating a table see here this is my table structure here you can see okay and end of this table you can see uh, I'm specifying here period for and this is the user defined name you can give any name here and start date and end date I'm mentioning here that is period for employee from to this is a user defined name any name can do then I'm creating my table here table has been created so I'm inserting some data look at this okay data has been inserted and committed and if you use this query, what will happen? This three employees are coming here. From start date and end date between this date. Current date is 23rd March 2018. And in between that, here you can see. Okay. So instead of this logic, simply you can use this query. Okay. So that is employee history. This is my table. And as of only I'm adding additional condition here instead of this condition instead of this condition I'm using here you can see as of period per and that is your uh, period name and date so date means particular date if you're looking for that so I'm using for this date current date so you can expect the same results here you can see I'm expecting the 235 employee ID so same logic here you can apply Two, three, five employees I'm getting. So total employees here you can see this. So total employees are available. Five employees. Their start date ended here you can see it is ending in 2017. These two are ending in uh, August, uh, July uh, 17 here you can see. Okay. Then. So if you are looking for a particular period uh, for uh, based on the timestamps or dates. So we can use this period for. So this class is uh, available from 12C feature. So if we are working in a reporting environment, uh, most of the requirements like uh, any retail environment or any uh, airline industry or any other environment like you are looking for this and you can write these queries and uh, while de defining your table structure, while designing your tables. So simply you can create a table with a period for and while Reporting, uh, you, will, you can use this as of period. You can use this, and it will improve the performance uh, instead of going for 
uh, multiple conditions which are going for the multiple conditions while uh, fetching this data from your database this class as of period class will improve a lot for performance related why because uh, most of the requirement will be using in the fact tables because the ship dates or order date or whatever the high date or employee last working days whatever you are looking for dates so those employees data are maybe particular orders or shipments whatever you are looking for the dates column so obviously we'll be looking at fact tables and fact tables will have a huge data so when you are using uh, more conditions in where class so it will impact the performance and you have to create a index on these columns and uh, like multiple conditions here you can see here so instead of this you can go for simply this per, uh, period per class and you will be getting the same data uh, when you are looking for a particular start date and end date in between that so this is where we can go for the new feature you can use in oracle so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my uh, channel to get more videos and update my channel thank you very much